learn some nifty illustrator techniques that are going to allow you to make gradient designs just like this using only one vector path. Now the gradient shape in today's video only uses a single vector path and we're going to be using a document perfect for web graphics. So that means using 72 PPI and a color scheme of RGB. I'm going to use a 1080p artboard for my design. On your document, make sure that you've only got the stroke selected with no color fill and then turn off this setting here if you've got it activated. Now we do that because if it is activated, it's going to cause you issues when moving and positioning objects exactly where you want them to be. So next, I'm going to show you my smart guide settings as they're going to be very handy for keeping things in line and perfect for today's tutorial. Smart guides are not always useful, but in today's video, they're going to be quite handy and helpful. So press L for the ellipse tool and then while holding down shift, click and drag to make a circle. Then go ahead and press C for the scissors tool or you can actually find it in the toolbar here. And when you do actually have it, click the two anchor points on the left and the right of the circle, which is going to effectively cut the circle into two parts. You're going to want to press V for the selection tool so you can then move the lower part of the circle downward. And while you're doing that, you can hold down shift, which will keep the shapes fixed in a perfect alignment vertically. And also the smart guides will help here too. But if you're still not happy with that, you can use the align function, which will give you peace of mind that everything is actually in line. Now press P for the pen tool and unite both sides of your design like so, which is going to result in one single vector path that goes around. So now, how can we actually end up with the final 3D style gradient design by just using one vector path? Well, all of the magic is actually going to happen in the appearance panel. So click the stroke in the appearance panel and do this while you have your design highlighted and then select the gradient stroke in the color palette situated in the bottom left of my screen. You would now have a gradient on your stroke and this is where you can select your colors for your gradients and I personally are going for a vibrant pink to purple for my design. So finally for this stroke, you can jack up the stroke weights to your liking for your design. The next step is very crucial and so please do follow along to make sure you do it properly. With your design selected still, open the stroke window here or in the top drop down menu and then you can apply the stroke to the outside of the vector path. Then come into the appearance panel and then duplicate this stroke layer. And then on the new layer, change the stroke so it's applied inside. So as you can see, you now have two different strokes and you can then adjust the gradient directions and also the stroke weight until you feel the design looks right. Now I still have one last thing to show you guys that is pretty awesome, so stay tuned. So as you can see, if I press Command or Control Y to enter into outline mode, the design is a single vector path, but we can still go ahead and add more to our design. So with your design not selected, Clear the appearance panel and then add a background by using the rectangle tool. And of course, make sure to send it to the back of all objects and then select your design once more. In the appearance panel, duplicate the outer stroke and then come into the effects panel here at the bottom because we're going to add a Gaussian blur effect to this stroke. Yeah. 
you can check the preview box to see your changes in real time and if the effect doesn't look that good and looks pretty poor, you need to come into the document raster effect settings and change the values that I'm going to adjust. The effect does look better on my screen as opposed to the render the video editing software that I'm using has accomplished. And as I mentioned, this entire design is on one vector path. If you want to keep boosting your skills and your awareness as a graphic designer, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And also if you want to see exclusive content and videos, check out my subscription based website, also linked down in the description box below. Make sure you have a great day everybody, and until next time, design your future today, peace.